Newly promoted Dijon hosted Gangon, hoping to extend a five-match unbeaten run in the league. This promised to be an intriguing encounter though, as Gangon had climbed into fourth thanks to three wins on the spin. Antoine Camboare made just the one change, bringing in 17-year-old midfielder Ludovic Blas for Baisama Sanko. It was Dijon, though, that struck first in the sixth minute. The away defence were all at sea as Lois Dioni got his head onto a set piece. And defender Cedric Varro was able to grab his first league gun goal since scoring for Saint Etienne in April 2010. Things went from bad to worse for Gangon as Yannis Salibur had to hobble off and he was replaced by Belgian Neil Dupov. Dijon had their opponents on the rack. And Diony made it too with a magnificent header that looped over a helpless Carl Johan Jonsson in the Gangon goal. But the away side hits back quickly as Marcus Coco ghosted into the area to steer in his fourth goal of the campaign from Jordan Ikoko's probing cross. Dijon continued to dominate though and they restored their two goal advantage before half time. Pierre Les Melou hung the ball up to the back post where Cape Verde international Julio Tavares expertly stayed in the air to head past Jonsson. Gangon needed a quick start to the second half and they almost got it. Only for Baptiste René to deny Jeremy Sorbon. Comboare threw some caution to the wind, introducing forward Slam Priva and Alexandre Mondi for the closing stages. And Mondi gave his side hope with 11 minutes to go. The 22-year-old met Fernando Marsal's cross with the sweetest of side foot volleys to halve the deficit. Dijon almost put the game to bed once and for all. But Jonsson did well to tip a fierce drive from Mehdi Abid over the bar. The comeback was completed when Gangon pinched a point in the third minute of injury time. As Mondi created himself some space to grab his first Gangon goal at the perfect moment. Route 1 play paying dividends, goalkeeper Jonsson picking up a rare assist. 3-3 it finished and Dijon will need to be more clinical if they're to cut the mustard in the top flight.